Want to get valuable insights from Reddit? I'm Jakubas, a technical researcher at Smart Proxy. And today, I'll show you how to use our web scraping API to extract data from one of the internet's largest image ports. Let's discover the hidden treasures of Reddit. We'll start by going to github.com slash smartproxy. Here, you'll find various repositories with code examples. Today, I'll show you the Reddit Python scraper. Here, you can find the code and the explanation. You can get a free trial of our web scraping API straight from this banner. Once you get your trial, you may head over to web under scraping APIs. There, you'll need to change your password in the authentication tab. Once you have your password ready, you may head over to our API playground to test out the API. Here, you can select the URL you're targeting, your language, your location, device type on browser, and JavaScript rendering. For this example, we'll be using reddit r slash all, a subreddit for cute pictures. You may simply paste in the URL in our URL field and send the request. Once that is done, you'll see your response below. You may download it in JSON or copy. Now let's head over to our Python script. First, we'll need three libraries for this code. JSON for working with JSON files, request for making requests to our web scraping API, and beautiful soup for parsing the HTML. The URL will be our web scraping API endpoint. Target will be universal. Our payload URL will be the Reddit post you want to scrape. We'll enable JavaScript rendering with the headless parameter and set it to HTML, and parsing will be disabled. For headers, we'll need to send our authentication header. Our API accepts authentication as base64 encoded username and password string. You can encode your username and password in our help docs or any other encoder. Here, simply enter your username. You can find your username in our dashboard. And your password. Here, you can copy the authorization header. Once we paste this in, we're authenticated. As for the request, we'll receive the data in the JSON. We'll need to load this JSON data and then select the element containing our HTML. This will be the content element. Afterwards, we'll need to strip the content from backslashes. Backslashes are used to escape characters. Once we have our stripped content, we'll load it into beautiful soup and select the data points. You can select as many data points as you want. I selected username post timestamp, post title, comment count, a poll percentage, subreddit description, subreddit name, subreddit date, subreddit members, and currently active subreddit members. As you can see, there are also other elements below. These are for comment scraping. This is because the comments element are repeating. We'll select the main div tag that contains all of the comments. Afterwards, we'll run a for loop to select offer tags, comment timestamp, comment URL, comment text, and comment upvotes. Afterwards, we'll save it to a JSON. Once you run the script, data.json file will be created locally. This JSON will contain the post username, post date, post title, post comment count, upvote percentage, subreddit description, subreddit name, subreddit created date, subreddit members, and subreddit members online. Once you scroll down below, you'll see the comment section. Comments will contain comment offer name, comment date, comment URL, comment text, and comment upvotes. Can't wait to get your hands on our web scraping API? Don't wait any longer. Try it for free today and unlock the full potential of Reddit data.